Hey guys, this is my Nintendo DS and 3DS collection. I'm doing this in honor of the servers for the 3DS and Wii U shutting down a few days ago as of recording this. But yeah, let's start off with the first game. It's like nothing special, but back of the barnyard slot bucket games. Uh, this isn't really my favorite DS game. It's not very good. I'd rather play the barnyard game on the GameCube. I'm sorry. Good movie. Not a good game, you know. And oh boy, we got Trio. Let's get this over with. Chuck E. Cheese Game Room. Um, I don't have much to say about that. Chuck E. Cheese Party Games. I prefer the Wii version, but this isn't a bad DS port. Uh, and Chuck E. Cheese Playhouse. I have nothing to really say about that either. And then I have Ice Age 2 The Meltdown. Uh, this was... Not my favorite game. The uh, the console version's better. Sorry. Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs. This is actually a good DS game. Not nearly as good as the console version, but still decent. You play as Buck in, like, 2D levels. It's fun. Uh, got another Ice Age game. Continental Drift Arty Games. I mean, the game itself is very boring, but... It's like, has mini games. But it is better than the Xbox 360 version because it's all connecting stuff. You know, Lego Indiana Jones, The Original Adventures. And, I mean, this game isn't worth much, but, yeah. I haven't really played much of that, but, yeah. I got Mario Kart DS. And if you may have noticed, um, I have the cases for some of these games now. You know, this one I didn't have the case for before. It's incomplete. It just has the game... Um, in the case, in the cover, but yeah, and there's another one, Mario Party DS, you know, you gotta have a party with Mario, this is actually a really, really good Mario Party game, in my opinion, I got Mario vs. Donkey Kong Miniland Mayhem, this is it's not a bad one either, I, I actually like this one, pretty fun, Rayman Raven Rabbids 2, I actually have uh, the other ones, I'll show those later, when I showed my loose DS games, this game took me forever to find. It's not expensive, it's not rare either, it's just, you don't see it often, in my opinion. But then I have a Super Mario 64 DS, you know, obviously classic, love Mario 64 DS. Then, this might be shiny, but Sonic Colors, um, it's like Sonic Rush, but it's, it's Sonic Colors, I guess, I don't know, I have not play much of it. Then I got Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. I loved this game on the PS3. And the DS version isn't bad either. It's just not as good as the console versions. And then I have a very underrated Super Monkey Ball game. Super Monkey Ball Touch and Roll. And I know a lot of people, you know, they hated it, I guess. I mean, I don't blame them. The designs are kind of, you know, bleh, not the greatest. Alright, I'm going to get into the loose DS games now. Alright, uh, the first loose DS game I have is uh, Club Penguin Elite Penguin Force. This is actually a good game, in my opinion. But unlike the sequel, uh, Club Penguin Elite Penguin Ver Elite Penguin Force Herbert's Revenge. I didn't really like that one, in my opinion. Um, oh. Got Crash of the Titans. This is actually a really good DS port. Actually better than the actual game itself. Um... I got Viva Pinata Pocket Paradise. If you played Viva Pinata on the Xbox 360, you'll know exactly what you're getting into. Then I have Rayman Raven Rabbids, the original. This is actually the platformer, actually, the Rayman 4 version 2. Not the party game, like Rabbids 2 or this one right here. Uh, TV Party. This was an awful DS game, I'm sorry. It was so bad. And then I also have... Uh, Rabbids Go Home, I prefer the Wii version. The Wii version is the best version of the game. Actually, probably the funnest out of all the versions. Or, well, there's actually Wii DS and then a PC version released in some foreign country or whatever. And then I got SpongeBob Atlantis Square Pantsus. This is actually a good game. Better than the console version, too. It's like, I don't know. I thought DS games weren't always great on handheld, but sometimes there's the hidden gems. Also forgot, I have New Super Mario Bros. And a complete in box personal trainer walking. 
nothing really special about this. But yeah, now on to the 3DS games. First up, we have Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Uh, this was released in like 2018. It's a later released game. You'll tell, you could tell by the uh, the little like Nintendo logo. Doesn't fit very well, you know. It's because it's when they, you know, s making Switch games, you know, or whatever. And then I got Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon Nintendo Selects Edition. Um, I haven't played much of that, but it's good. Then I have the weirdest of the 3DS games. Well, not weird, but it's just, I don't know, Minecraft on the 3DS, specifically the new Nintendo 3DS. It's just a, it's just such an odd game to have on the 3DS. I mean, like, it's a good concept, but then it just doesn't work as well, because it's not very powerful enough to run it. Then I have Skylanders Spiral's Adventure, which is actually a good game on the DS, although the console version is better. But you can jump in this game, by the way. I actually double jump. And I actually have another one for later as well. Actually, two. And then I got Skylanders Trap Team, which isn't as... It's actually... There's no trapping in this game. No traps. It's all, you know, it's not that good. And then I have Super Mario 3D Land. Obviously, this is a really good game. Actually, a really, really fun game. I, I love it a lot. Then I have another rare game, uh, WarioWare Gold, another late 3DS release. Um, yeah, this was actually a pretty fun game. I'm surprised it didn't sell very, it didn't sell very well, but yeah, it was fun. Um, and then I have in these cases, Skylanders Giants on the 3DS and Skylanders Swap Force on the 3DS. Also, if you're interested, I do have both portals, and they both work. Go figure. On the digital 3DS, I have the AR card games, uh, Sonic and Sonic and All Stars Racing Transform, Mario Party Star Rush, the Photos with Mario app, which I have the cards, Super Monkey Ball 3D, Mario Kart 7, Electroplankton, Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, Carps and Dragons. Ice Station Z, Mario and Friends Amiibo Challenge, Charles Entertainment Cheese Arcade Room, and the other Charles Entertainment Cheese game, Alien Defense Force. Cut the Rope, Mario Calculator, that's the best game on the DS. Her Herald's Walk, Nintendo Badger Arcade, RIP. Paper Airplane Chase, Tomagotchi Life. Balloons Tower Defense 4 and the original Balloons Tower Defense and New Super Mario Bros. 2. And that's my whole collection. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Goodbye.